some examples of how you can expose yourself to liability without even realizing it is that let's say you live in a, in a, in a high rise condo. And I know this particular case happened uh, from an individual where he had hired someone to come in and put a ceiling fan in his condo. He was on the 11th floor of the condo and he didn't take the time to verify that the person he hired had a license or not. The person showed up with the ceiling fan, brought a ladder into the house, took the ladder, set it up and went to move it. And when he went to move the ladder, he knocked the sprinkler head off in the middle of the customer's living room. Well, when you knock the head of a sprinkler head off, what happens is water starts pouring all over your house. And usually in most cases, the fire department is the only agency able to go in and shut off sprinkler systems. And by the time the fire department gets there, and ascertains what the problem is, then mo in most cases, you flooded the entire 11 floors of the building underneath you. So not only do you have a huge liability financially, but you've got 10 floors of neighbors that don't particularly care too much for you anymore because you now you've ruined all of their furniture. Okay, so don't put yourself in that spot. Make sure before you get that ceiling fan put up that the person you've got has the, has the insurance. They have the protections that protect you, the consumer. Another example. Okay, and this is a really good example of what happens when you don't take the five minutes it takes to go to your construction experts and do the background check. I had a customer of mine in Sebastopol, she's a realtor, and her husband needed a tree removed from the backyard of their home. And so he called his wife and said, honey, I found a tree company, I think they're gonna come out tomorrow and trim our tree. Well, the company comes out the next day, they climb up in the tree, they cut a limb out, the limb falls and kills one of the workers in the backyard. Well, the husband didn't listen to the wife and didn't do the background check like she had asked him to do. But after the injury, he goes in to look and sure enough, that particular company, not only did they not have a license, they had no insurance, they had no workman's comp, they had no protections for that consumer. When I heard of the story, which is about 15 years ago, at that point, they were $175,000 into defending every piece of property they own because their homeowner's insurance refused to make a payment because the work being done in their home was illegal. There are countless examples of this type of exposure that people don't realize they're doing. Something as simple as getting your gutters cleaned. You know, and this is a really good example because it's a simple example that can turn out to be thousands of dollars in, in cost to you. Someone knocks on your door and goes, hey, I'll clean your gutters for $50. Well, nobody really wants to clean their own gutters. And you think, well, for 50 bucks, sure, why not? So for 50 bucks, can I borrow your ladder? So, you know, you, you let them borrow your ladder. In about 15, 20 minutes, you hear a moaning outside and you walk outside and this individual that was gonna clean your gutters is now laying on the ground at the bottom of the ladder saying, please call an ambulance, I've fallen off the ladder. Usually, when that individual shows up at the hospital emergency room with an injury or an alleged injury, most of the time, the hospital considers them to be your employee. And the reason for that is they are working on your property, using your equipment, doing a job for you. So you didn't vet them. So they don't have any insurance. Avoid the hassles. It's not worth saving 25 or 50 bucks to go with someone unlicensed. Now, if you've got an Uncle Roy or a son-in-law or someone like that that wants to do it, that's a completely different scenario. But these people that go door knocking to look for jobs, that where, where there's tree trimming or gutter cleaning or whatever it may be, most of the time they don't have a license because in order to even do door knocking, in some counties in the state of Florida, you actually have to get a permit to put flyers on people's doors. So please do yourself a favor, don't put yourself to be exposed to that type of behavior. Thank you, Timothy McAfee. The way that I would handle this when it comes to hiring someone, whether they solicited me or I found them online or wherever I found them, is before I would ever even entertain the possibility of allowing them to do a job for me, I'd want to get their name, I'd want to get their company name, I'd want to get the name of their insurance company, I would want to get them to name me as an additional insured on their company's insurance policy. Which by the way, that's a process that's free for companies that have the insurance. I do it all the time. I do work for large corporations and for me to be able to get the job, I actually have to call my insurance company or actually I can go online and actually name that individual or that company 
as an additional insured specifically for that job, which is a different layer and a better layer of protection for you, rather than just saying, yeah, I've got insurance, here's my certificate. You'll actually get a certificate that has your name on it as an additional insured for that particular project. So that's what I would do, is I would make certain that don't just listen to what they say. Look for the facts. Look for the background. Look for the record. If somebody says, I can't name you as an additional insured, get away from them. Because anyone can be named as an additional insured on a construction policy because that's the way the process works, okay? Insurance is to protect you, the consumer. And speaking about protecting you as the consumer, your construction experts is a neutral consumer advocate company that only purpose is to help you make an educated decision in who you're hiring to work around your family and in your private home, making sure they are legitimate and they're honest and they're legal. Thank you.